The second circuit we're going to set up is slightly more complicated than the first. It's very similar, but this time we're going to work with not only one, but a second resistor. This resistor is connected in series, meaning one resistor is followed directly by another in a straight line. Again, plug in our power supply into the wall, make sure that it's secure. We start at the positive terminal. The circuit diagram says, again, to connect a wire. That wire connects to a resistor. The next thing that the resistor is connected to is not back to the power supply, but in this case, it's connected to a second resistor. So we'll connect a second wire to the resistor. And we'll connect the other end of that second wire to a second resistor. And you'll notice that I didn't go off the same side of the resistors, but resistors in general are reversible, so it does not matter which way we connect them, as long as they're connected. So we've connected the first resistor to the second resistor through a wire. Now the second resistor is connected back to the power supply by a third wire. So we connect the resistor to the third wire, and the third wire connects back to the negative terminal of the power supply. At this point, because our circuit's getting a little bit more complicated, we want to go back and check to make sure that everything is correct. We start at the power supply, follow it along the wire, we go to our first resistor, through our first resistor, through the second wire to the second resistor, through the second resistor, we hit the third wire, third wire goes back to the power supply, and our circuit checks out. Again, at this point, once we've checked our circuit, we can turn on our power supply, make our measurements, and complete this experiment. When we're done, turn off the power supply, disconnect all of the components and all of the wires, again, placing them back in your supply box and returning your supply box back to the supply window.